Okay, so this is going to be an attempt at glitching the game, the clock on the Game Boy Color here to bypass the boot ROM. I've got a GB Live 32 cartridge connected and an Arduino Nano hooked up to the serial port so I can send some commands by USB once we get past the boot ROM. Um, glitching the clock can take a while sometimes, just depends on your luck, really. Um, the process is just reset the machine and then tap the this wire on the negative battery terminal. The other end of this wire is um, soldered to the Game Boy's clock chip and um, because I'm using a GB Live 32 I can reset the system quickly just by sending a new ROM to the cartridge. Um, so let's give it a go and see how we get on. Oh, now you'll see um, we get stuck with the, the Game Boy logo here and the background turns red. Um, if I just reset the game, you'll see uh, I get a red screen. And that means that the boot ROM successfully finished, uh, which we don't want. So if we're successful in bypassing the boot ROM, then it will launch into our serial interface and show some, some register values. Um, and then we can send commands. Read and write memory. Now there's not much technique that goes in here. It's mainly I've mainly had luck by waiting until the audio plays. All right, well, we've finally got in there. Just bring the camera down so you can have a look. So you can see at the top, um, we're reading the first few bytes of the boot ROM correctly. So we've got 31 and FE. And we also show some other register values. Now we have three sprites on the right hand side of the screen. Top one is configured to use tile data from bank one, and you'll see in the Game Boy Color. Um, and in BMG mode, it'll read from bank zero, obviously. So if it shows a one, it's using bank one, and if it's showing a zero, it's getting the tile data from bank zero. Now the other two sprites are overlapping. Um, I've got a C with, with a higher X coordinate. Um, that appears earlier in the OEM. So that should have priority in Game Boy Color mode. And the D has a lower X coordinate. So that should have priority in DMG mode. So I'll just try and see if we can send some data here. Yeah, I'll just try read actually. Send a read command correctly. Yep, okay, so we can read from address 0 and get 31, which is what we want. Now, let's try and set this camera down. Okay, so if we write to FF6C, you see nothing happens. Now that is because we need to first set BMG mode via FF4C. So I'll write that first. Okay. 
and now you should see that the top sprite is showing zero because we're in DMG mode and it's reading from bank zero. Now if I write one to EF6C, you can see that the, the D has priority now because we're using DMG sprite ordering. And then I can switch back to rainbow color by writing 0 to f 6 c So basically you have to write, you have to be in DMG mode first before any writes to ff 6 c will have effect. And if I just disable DMG mode again, the panel should switch back. So now we're all in Game Boy Color sprite ordering and getting the color data from Bank 1. 